Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing something completely different, but I have to say I am so excited about it, like, I could not contain myself. Um, I've mentioned it in my previous haul, I'll link it down below, but that I was going to start doing book reviews and I was like, you know what, I don't know if I'm going to do them. I don't know if people are going to be into them, but one person commented that they wanted book reviews. I don't remember who it was. Actually, let me look. Travi Nior, maybe? I am so sorry. Anyways, thank you, honey. Because I, I was hoping someone wanted to see my book reviews. So anyways, I'm sorry if the lighting is weird. This is my first time filming in this room without natural light. And I haven't got my light set up because I'm not sure exactly what setup I'm going to do. Random makeup chilling out here. Um, So I'm sorry it's weird. And I feel like I'm blurry. Looking at the camera, I look blurry. But I don't know. I literally like ran up here as soon as I saw the comment. And I was like, I'm doing the book review. So, I'm going to try to make these book reviews very, very, like, short and to the point, unless I'm very passionate about the book. And I'm also planning on doing a couple of backtracking to previous books I've read. I'm a complete bookie. Get this out of the way. Like, I read constantly. If I don't have an actual copy of the book, I am on my phone reading a book. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoy these so I can continue to do them because I love to read and I normally have no one to talk to about the books. So I'm going to go ahead and share it with you guys. Okay, so the book I'm going to be um, reviewing today is actually a book that I bought in that haul. And it is called Losing It. And it looks like this. Um, and the author is Cora Carmack, I believe. Um, okay, so basically this is a new adult novel, which basically they kind of created a different genre for these type of books and new young adult is normally in high school and things like that and new adult they've decided is when you're in college i found that new adult tends to be my favorite since i am in that age bracket i'm not in college anymore i actually graduated early and things like that but it's in my age bracket and i feel like i can relate a lot more to it although i do like young adult and i do like i don't even know what the next age group is but whatever age group that is I like that too but anyway back to this book so um it says the New York Times and the USA bestseller how I found this book I actually went at Target and I was um, just in the book section I like to browse the book section and normally I get some misses when I do like like a book kind of haul kind of type of deal and this was a great one so anyways um this book was let me look exactly Um, I just feel so blurry, you guys. Like, it's crazy how blurry I feel. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, this book was 255 pages. For me, this was a short read. I read this book in a day, basically. I started it last night when I was in the bath, and I woke up this morning and finished it. So, it didn't take, it took me no time to read. Like I said, I read books, and when I read a book, I sit down from start to finish, and I read it. Uh, main characters, basically, are Bliss, love her name, first of all, Bliss and Garrick. Now, they met in college, um, and it's this whole like type of deal where it's very mysterious. Bliss and Garrick, and she's in college, so she meets this amazing guy, which is Garrick. He's British, hallelujah for that accent. And um, basically, they meet, and she takes him back to his apartment, freeze frame. She's a virgin, like she's a virgin in college, and her friend, which um, her name is Kelsey, I believe. To so her friend Kelsey basically and everyone else around her makes her think that you cannot be a virgin and you're getting ready to graduate college so they go to this bar in full intent for bliss to use her to lose her virginity to a guy just some random guy how crazy is that but she finds this guy and he's amazing garrick i, I can feel it in my bones that he's gorgeous and they say it's blonde hair and just he's just he's gorgeous so she gets home with this guy but she can't do it basically so fast forward she finds out ah it's her professor um, he's obviously a young professor. It's not like, he's not like professor in a creepy way, like he's 40 years old. It's like a young, hot, sexy professor, right? That's what you want. That, that's what I like to read about. But anyway, so go to these trials and tribulations, and there's so much to deal with, and things like that. And, you know, the typical thing, you know, there's always, you know, the two main characters. There's a love interest, which is Kate, just her best friend, which she finds out, loves her to death more than just friends and she didn't know that before and then there's the best friend which is Kelsey so it's kind of the same if you're into this if you love books like I do I don't mind the fact that they're all the same the part that I loved about it where I felt like it just kind of it gave it an extra oomph and it put something different in there they broke up of course but how they got back together she finds out she had mono from a freaking um party that they actually had had a while back with her friend she's a theater major by the way and um she caught mono because they were playing spin the bottle and he ends up happening so you know he finds her like dang near dead on the ground and takes her back to her, 
her place and he takes care of her and things like that and then he catches it obviously because they were together um and so it just I love the way that they, she brought them back together I think it was just something it was it was a great way to bring them back together I felt like I feel like normally it's just like you know they were together and then they this you know kind of epiphany happens and then they you know they end up happily ever after but them being sick mono because she kissed you know some guy at a party I thought was hilarious and I loved it so anyways you get to um, the epilogue and basically um, it's from his point of view I really like that I love when books do that I, the first time I witnessed that was in Fifty Shades of Grey when the very end um, she gave it from his point of view how they first met and I thought it just it really it really helped so they fast forward six months and this is when they're already living in Philadelphia they um, I guess they have a job together and you know he's just loving the fact that he can express how he feels about her he's a very um, expressive person as far as his emotions for her you know they're past the love point and I love into this so they're you know they're living together they're doing the whole nine and um, boom he's gonna prepare to ask her to marry him to marry him which I think is excellent and I love the way he did it so you know Bliss is this very con like constructive she's very um, you know square type of person you, you know she doesn't like surprises she likes to be planned she likes everything to be managed to the T so he decides to plot and his idea is to do this <clears throat> It wasn't like I was asking her to marry me. I just knew Bliss. I knew she tended to panic. I was giving her a very big, very obvious hint that she, so she had time to adjust before I actually asked her. And then in a few months, when I thought she had gotten used to the idea, I would ask her for real. So how amazing is that he knows her so well that he was planning on tipping her a hint. He basically told her to check into the drawer for something and she would see the box with the ring on it. So, you know, I thought that was super cool. So I thought that was an amazing way to end and I loved it. Okay, now, close the book, done with the book. I thought it was a great book. I really liked the fact that there were no dead ends for me. Um, except for maybe one or two, there were a couple of times where I was like, okay, is this part really like purpose, you know, purposeful? But I really liked the book. It's a really, really quick, short read. And if you're just into something like, we're like, ah, oh, it's so cute and you're done with it. The one thing I will say, I bought this book. Uh, I showed you guys, like I said, which is called Faking It, which is like kind of in this novel. And I, exp I was thinking in my head before I had read anything about this, I was thinking, so what, do they have a sucky relationship? And then she's like faking it, you know, obviously. But no, in fact, you read the end of this and I have not read this part yet because I want to wait. I don't even want to read it. I just want to go right into that book where her best friend Cade, who, you know, she said out loud, you know, I'm not interested in you. I love you as a friend. I want you to be my friend, things like that. It's a book about him. It's not very common, which I thought it was amazing for the author. It's not very common, at least in my books that I've read and I've read a lot for the author to, you know, a side character to get a, to get a book. And, you know, normally from a point of view, which I love when people do point of views from like, you know, the other main character who's not telling the story. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed my book review. Um, thumbs this video, thumbs up this video. If you guys want to see more book reviews or if you want me to like include a certain something in the book or in the book review. I hope to see you guys in another book review video. I will talk to you guys soon.